Researchers at Texas A&M Corpus Christi say based on their research, the worst case scenario has the coronavirus peaking in late June or July for us. Again, they call that the worst case scenario. And that comes from a news briefing just uh, wrapped up a short time ago at City Hall. Our Taylor Alanis joins us live from our main studios with the details. Taylor. Joe, researchers took an evidence-based research from Europe to help develop a model for how the pandemic is affecting Texas and the coastal bend. Dr. Chris Bird from TAMUCC says right now, Texas has a transmission ratio of four, meaning for every person that has COVID-19, four people are becoming infected from that one person. The goal is to get that number down to one. To help show the effects of social distancing, the model poses these questions. What would happen if we didn't enact social distancing at all? What would happen if we ended social distancing today? What would happen if we ignored social distancing during the holiday weekend? And finally, is social distancing working? Social distancing is flattening the curve here. Um, and this is worst case, in the worst case of worst case scenarios, uh, we have 87,000 cases instead of 300,000 cases if we never did anything at the peak or 200,000 cases if we ended social uh, uh, restrictions right now. Researchers estimate if there were no social distancing, by mid-April there would be about 200,000 cases of COVID-19 in the coastal bend and 5,000 5, fatalities. Now, if we ended social distancing today, there would be 200,000 people infected by mid-May and 5 to 20 deaths just during this holiday weekend. And if we kept social distancing for the foreseeable future, we could have between 10 and 87,000 cases of COVID-19 COVID-19 here in the coastal bend. If social distancing is removed today, hospitals will be overwhelmed, more people will die, and there will be more transmissions. And again, if we don't practice social distancing, nothing that we're seeing will be working. So we need to make sure that we're protecting ourselves and our community. Joe.